right, ready to go here. And stepping in is the speedy Ricky Henderson. Rick the pitch. Henderson. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Not a good start. <clears throat> Waste no time there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find nope. a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. The one up. Ricky runs. Pitch in for a strike. Bobbles the transfer. No throw. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed the pitch upstairs swing and a miss Adam out front for the strikeout and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate pick off move to second Ricky dives hey. back in good wheels out there on second and he's getting a pretty big lead right now definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield This is the zone. One and oh. Henderson over at second. One down. The pitch. Good eye right there. On the ground. Down the line. And it's foul. Next pitch misses. Full count three and two. That one is absolutely belted. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. <laughs> Next offering is foul back. Line drive, falls it in for the out. Now the left fielder, Reggie Jackson. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Ricky Henderson to grab. And that is that. to see. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Ricky Henderson. And the pitch. There's a strike. Very hit of a pitch. A little out front there as he swings through. <coughs> There's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Jesus. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. The third baseman. Slapped foul. And a foul ball. What? No way. Yeah. <clears throat> foul ball still 0 and 2. Fights it off, he'll see another. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses, one and two to count. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. <clears throat> and George nice makes nice. the grab. And that quickly, two away. And now batting, Mike Trout. Hitter. 
Swings through that one. Oh, <coughs> Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. Gloss. To first, and that is that. Back here at Coors Field, all set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Yu Chang. Julian Merriweather takes over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. The pitch. And that one just missed off the out. Side edge. In the air, right field. <clears throat> Granderson pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Teoscar Hernandez, the next to hit, takes outside. Swings through that. One and one. Late with the swing there. He got away with Two one three. there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And it's Two even three. up. And a pitch. In there. Got him looking for the K. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Now here is Troy Gloss. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. On the ground to Jazz. Whips it across. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here in Denver, now Luke Eric. The first baseman, Louis Gerrard. <clears throat> and here it comes. Foul ball there. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. the first in time leadoff man retired here in the second well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball good execution Tory hunter in the box now takes strike one. First good strike right there for him he's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper swung on belted that one's carrying and it's gone that one felt good, and just like that, they're out front. It's one zip. One down. Now it's the right fielder, Curtis Granderson. So now a pinch hitter, Alex Bregman. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. hitter Freddie Freeman big spot for him here that's back there and that one is out of here Freddie Freeman the opposite way and they add to the lead it's two nothing Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate
carried on the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. And here's the catcher, Craig Biggio. And Craig and Kevin Biggio were just the second father-son combo to each hit for the cycle. Pretty cool for both of them. And you know how I love the cycle. Here comes the 0-1. Makes the catch, inning over. New inning getting started. Here's Luis Arias. Talking about Craig's son, Kevin. He's a solid player. Has a lot of his dad in him, too. Plays the game real hard. Richard Blyer gets the call from the pen. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters Richard. are going to give you the best at bats they can. Oh so it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Swings and misses. Pulled the string of the changeup. Number eight digs in down. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Blyer, in his seventh season, he features a sinker, a cutter, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four seamer. Henderson makes the grab, two down. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Ricky Henderson. Infield shifted to the pull side. And fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Next one misses. Ah. They count one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. One and two now. There we go. In the dirt, ball game. Two nothing. Your final here in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at M. Now the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. The 
the pitch. That misses the zone, and away we go this afternoon. And there's a ball. Good hitters count the 2 0. Now a pop up on the infield. One away. Luis Robert now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Next pitch is downstairs. Now fly ball to right center. Hunter has it sized up. Squeezes it. Two down. Munitaka Murakami now at the plate. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Ripped on the ground a second. In time to Gehrig, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Bottom of the first. Now at the plate, Ricky Henderson. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And there's one down. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Oh, and one now. And it's fouled away. One down, base is empty. That to right. Damn. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that is the inning. Back here at the ballpark, here's Tim Anderson. And a pitch. That's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. No outs, runner at first. Alex Bregman, the next to hit. Outfield playing straight up now. Ball one, no strikes. No score here in the second. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Garrett pulls it down, and there's one down. Number eight will hit next. Sam Howard taking over on the mound. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked what opposing team did that to me. And that's ripped for a base hit. Around second is Anderson. And he'll reach second with one away. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cake. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Next to hit, Young Hope Park. Swing and a miss. One Strike count. one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Man, it's so frustrating. You got a couple of runners on. You want to try to drive in at least one run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. And the play, safe, and they take the lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones. Swing, and this one's blasted. Oh, it's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. In comes the run from third. It's three zip. He's in there. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. The new pitcher in the game, Fernando Cruz. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Right-handed reliever. This one popped up. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. The you want. This one in the air, right field. Granderson puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. <laughs> Bottom of the inning, and here is Lou Gehrig. Sanchez back to work. All one there. So after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Oh, Foul on to first. No way. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Tory Hunter now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Just a weak fly ball this time. Two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Out towards left center. Robert hustling after it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Out of the third inning, here's the third baseman, Munitaka Murakami. Munitaka Murakami. Cruz, a 6'2 righty, 33 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. That misses the zone, ball one. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent, it produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. Takes it in for the out. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot, and they add a run. It's 4 nothing. Here's Alex Bregman on the ground to the left. Whips it to first, and they get Bregman for the out. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Number eight in now, takes ball one off the plate. On the ground, right side. Moncada tossed to first. That in. Except for the bottom of the third. And now it's Frankie Lindor. The right-hander back to work. 
And the pitch is outside, ball one. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. So now a pitch hitter for the catcher, Freddie Freeman. A runner at first for him, nobody out. Looks like it'll be a pitch hitter. Johnny Bench, a runner at first for him, nobody out. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh if you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a 1-2. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Here is Moncada and a foul ball. And the 0 1. Inside, just missed. Lindor, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. The next pitch misses 2 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. In the air, out towards right center. That's the ball game. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately... Yeah, I'll play one, but I'm probably going to watch this Devils game. It's game seven. Yeah, it's going to be intense. Yeah, I can't believe they lost. That's crazy. Nah, but this is... <clears throat> yeah, right? That's crazy. Sport. It's in the game. There's no doubt about it now. This guy has to be in the all man team. Oh, yeah. Might have been. How is this heritage mine? Asian American and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Heritage. That's the longest name I've ever seen. Heinz Ward, that's sick. Let me click some.
can upgrade Singletary. Should put up. Let's Singletary go to a 99 with this. Singletary's a 99 now. Man, he might be nice now. He's literally... Ooh. Wow, he is literally better than Devontae David and every... Oh boy. Might make a difference. No, I got that upgrade token for Mike Singletary. I need to sell the lane and get fucking Richard Sherman. This is a Logan Ryan too. He could be a uh, free safety. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. that sugar rush strategy at all or not really well, they just they said they were going to make it worse just like I don't think they ever added anything to the NFL combine track you stopped using the Super Bowl ring Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I feel like, didn't we win the Super Bowl when you had that Super Bowl strat?
Make it about two of us. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What do I think it's not going to With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway from Houston. Taken at the 15, a short kick. Then he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. I mean, fucking legs are beat for a <laughs> morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game well early on there's a good one there is and for guys on defense they've got to remember the old adage you've got to meet force with force and if you don't you get run over as they did on that last play on first down it's herbert forced out to his left and seeing no options he just tosses this one away incomplete now that'll bring up second down 
Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Another top six my favorite. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They go with Edwards left. Oh, I was trying to get a bounce out in it. Quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Bro, I really didn't even really think that guy tackling was going to have that guy, right? That really was like the. Most times he just bounces off of you, you know what I mean? Damn, man, I was gone. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Right. It's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution. Yeah, literally that press. Good news. They've got a whole game left to clean that up. You know, um, key third down throws. I feel like that Randy Moss route actually isn't that bad. Yeah, fourth down, down AJ like Cole there. comes on to punt. Yeah, it, it could help. He said, no, no, but you made him a go. Yeah, I, I almost tried to get around it. Beckham, the return. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. They'll throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Night Train Lane. <laughs> a super How many fucking tackles? Did he make up as an can tell him that you called him old in our pre-game meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. There's a trick in the book. He knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters, and this is what he's always had, and that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. Edwards now on first and ten. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't block anybody there. Let's try it. Oh, nice run there. And his guys have taken a first. You really never know what you're gonna get. Like it's wild. The extra point by Carlson, up and good, and that makes the score seven nothing. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a short kick taken at about the 16. What just happened? And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has oh, matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. <laughs> and I think that one might have been intercepted, yeah. but he will be rolling out of bounds. No, so this kidding. will go only as incomplete. <laughs> the game it is. Yeah. Dude, advantage. I almost came in there and, and picked, picked that shit, man. I was there. feeling that. That should have been an interception. Yeah, nice catch. On? Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is going to be intercepted. Yes. 
Yes, Troy's <laughs> You know. Damn. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that in. Yeah, let's start up quick because then I'm bouncing. Well, at least we just want to watch this shit. This is about to be crazy, this game, bro. Oh, I hope that it's a close game. Yeah, I like the Bruins loss. It's pretty much open for anybody. Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Yeah, yeah. Charles, you talk okay. about storylines in this one. I think it oh, begins and ends oh, with no. our two quarterbacks. Certainly Dude. two of the best in the business. And that nowadays, I don't think you get by for a long period of time I'm without a top four quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, him if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Ooh. Stadium. Fields this way up at the 17. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Both people's settings are like that, then what does it do? run good for nine here's second and a yard
Now Herbert with it looking to pass. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First and 10, it's Patterson. <gasps> Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the 50, here's Herbert. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And it's caught, touchdown. Randy Moss, 50 yards. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took is one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a short kick taken at about the 16. Oh, yeah. And not much happening on the return. Yeah, so get this to about the 23. Yeah, second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage the last run got six now second and four they run it again with chubb ah, so cool. take this one up to the 35 yard oh, seven <laughs> yards there oh the my god that guy was trying man oh They come up on first and ten. And Chubble tried the middle here. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your yeah. days in Tennessee. Well, we don't think you mentioned the other guy's yeah. name, but it's when he dropped it open like, passing, I'd you rather that could give it up. You say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew it up. Since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe just, next time I'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? <laughs> he, wasn't real he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Well, Got an open man next to him in the Joku, the tight end. And he's going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Well, on third down, yeah, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular. Because yeah, I was just holding the outside. I was not I was not going to do that. Especially across the middle of the field with his traffic, he delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. <laughs> yeah, I tried to have him bounce inside, and he, he just fucking did a move there. After one seven nothing on EA Sports. Right, looks like the Blitz series blitz. And second and four. I got ten. Now Rodgers, going out wide, finds Chubb, and he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Watch the box, the box, the box. <laughs> On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football. <laughs> so that was awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, someone wasn't there to hit stick him. A rare misstep uh, on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that is... Oh, I almost baited that. And he gets it inside I almost baited that. Night. Dude, this Rodgers is... Fucking crazy. Seems as if the passing no, but you see how fast he throws it? I know, but he's throwing it really sense. fast. Bro. And you can see the momentum. Because now Shit, they're reading uh, their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages. And they're finding the open holes in the defense. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It moves. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal from inside the five. From the gun, it's Rodgers. This is caught. Touchdown. Nick Chubb. <laughs> oh, we knew it was coming too. Ah. Who was that guy that did it? Three Derwin Jones right there. Touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. Damn. You made me forget about some of the ones that should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible to the fire. He's still 11 oh, plays, bro. Point. And we are tied at seven. Dude, it took him 11 plays, 77 yards, and 40 minutes of game time. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as so. the kick's away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. You got to score and keep this frog as a chubby. I wonder how much of Rogers is. He has three abilities too. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch it. their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Oh, 
Second down and five. Out of the gun, Herbert. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. Finding room in the ah! And they're going to have this. I could have blocked. I was almost there, dude. If I could have blocked it, I could have touched that. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Oh, that was a thing to beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an A line on a mission. All in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 39, Herbert. Oh, my God. Take it in by Jefferson. Oh my God! Dude. First down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' twenty. <laughs> dude, dude, I wanted to change. sit there too. I was like, I was like, a big pickup for a first yeah. down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, yeah. I just saw like all that open space and I just like, it to perfection. Herbert on first down now. No! Oh! Oh! It's going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. I'm going to try to get in on this press. Another try after the first down sack. Oh. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Covered was in lockdown mode everywhere. Seven play in this drive coming up. And a long yeah. way to go on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. Yeah, it's your call. I'll let you decide here. Make sure it's something quick that you can like, get off and get yards. They snap it to Herbert. It's complete. No! I couldn't do it! Break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Bro, if you had Phenom out there, oh. Uh, I got past the first guy and really thought I was gone. Fucking bad. The Raider offense set Very to get this up. drive started. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. Rogers gonna throw. Oh, tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by Knight. Let's go. And you get some points out of it. <laughs> what a bad play. Now, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think yeah, after that interception. Good. Just a few more, oh, and they're behind yeah. at the break. Yeah, I think oh, at no, the half, that coach just says, look, that oh. the intercepted. And his guys are going to take it. He said he was guarding it, bro. <laughs> and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. 
But their defense uh, got in the football with an interception. They trot out their Charles in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brandon, I always appreciate you coming like an auctioneer. We got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. Shot before half for Rodgers. He's got the hook of Odell Beckham. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. Sure, but but plenty more to see after the break. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Gun tights. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We have really been close to our best in the first half, so Tight we don't have to go out yeah. one for the giver. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. To throw, it's Rodgers. Finds the open man. It's Why is he open? Why is he open? Pass the 45 before being tackled. God, dude, I was guarding so everything I could. Rats, but he's got a first down there. Bring him over. That's good. That's good. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. Oh, and some space here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. So we let the guys blitz and they don't even get near. The second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders have moved out in front. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Turns this to the here. 22. <laughs> oh man, my brain is fried. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Yeah, this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. On second and 12, Herbert got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with Patterson. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. 
I have to think a major focus of the halftime mix had to be figured out how to create space oh. for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me in half oh, seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on standing oh. their double teams oh. at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. Here's Edwards again on second down. Oh, and finds some open field funny. here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Yeah, that that's good for 19 and a first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Nice. Not turbo. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because yeah. sometimes oh. you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well. Oh my gosh, all fans jump on the this band. Word. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Herbert. I like that. And he so this the right there. He's going to have another first down as the tackle comes Smart. at the Raiders' 19. That's probably he ran out to the outside. The dude, like, dove for some reason. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Chill, this is fucking scary. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, oh my lord! Holy shit! They're like dangerous. Decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score. Oh! They will take this one in for a touchdown. Cordero Patterson, a six-yard <laughs> touchdown run. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. What a crack block right there. What a crack block. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Wisconsin doesn't have a hockey team, right? Really strange. Yeah, Chicago Blackhawks. What about the Detroit Red Wings? This one tied at 14 now as he sends this <laughs> one away. Take it at the 15, a short kick. And he'll be tackled just shy of the boy the boy boy. It's like me right there with Jersey Kingdom. Although we do like each other. <laughs> yeah, for real. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They begin this drive with Chubb. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. Quick slam. Oh! And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Yeah. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. I don't know, it's going to be a while. It just started. Game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. And get what? 
put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Alright, um... I was like, I'm going to get the rumble, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Oh, uh, I have to check it. I have to check it. I'm going to check it. I'm going to Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. See that now? And again, it's Chubb. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as good running gets him to about the 44. 98 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. They go up the middle with Chubb. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Chubb on second down. They're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Yeah, yeah, two yards shy of the line to gain. A one yard pickup leads to fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms trying to make of field the position, away. because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule possession is nine tenths of the law. Possession is nine tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Bullock's kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. So he went on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in. I didn't realize that he was like about to win the game, dude. I'm like, fuck. I'm gonna... You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming. Oh, he was gone. Bro, he was gone. Bro, this is Don't worry about the time. Let's just fucking focus. Dude, imagine you got that field goal, now you can warm with a field goal. That's the crazy. offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. For the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. No need to against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. No timeouts. You got to go quick here. Hmm. Throwing Herbert. Yeah. Another one. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. You're not in field goal range yet, the last. Now Herbert. 
He's got the Hall of Famer, Fred Belitnikov, complete. Oh, it's like and it. he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the right. All right. We're going to OT. Oh, shit. It's another first down. Okay, so now the question, how did he... Wish he could have fucking kicked the field goal. Oh, God damn it, dude. He would have won. Because of the time they handed out scouting reports... He would have fucking game, won. He was so uh, starred everything. Find yeah. him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a... I said it, too. I'm like, he's guarding it. Like, I saw it. Wow, he was like this. All of a sudden, you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, you <laughs> Oh man, that fucking view. How did they make that shit so hard? Uh, they want to keep trying to scheme open. Ah, uh, yeah, I touched it. So a money kick there in the final seconds, and now they're any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner. I think you and I were gonna settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any yeah. other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. 17-17, the score, all even to this point as the kicks away. Ah. set to get this drive started tie game and barring something incredible here we're likely headed to overtime what i would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out because if i'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens and all yeah, boy. Out, i can lose the game here if i get to overtime i can still win it four quarters not enough for all this for everyone who's watching the game how much fun is it for us <laughs> to see this one get an extra period to get settled it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score yeah, wins yes, the game. So the team. And a short kick taken oh. at the 16. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. <laughs> the offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal, we continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all the teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet. He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy. That's the game, folks! That's the game, folks! Yeah, boy, it's over! I just had to get you in the field goal range. <laughs> See, bro, you're always afraid to go to overtime. And look what happens. You finally, you finally get forced into an overtime. Dude throws a pick second play. Field goal range to win this thing. And the head coach is just talking to the special teams coordinator yeah, right now and saying, yeah, okay, is. where does he want the There's ball So much position? more pressure. Because that's all you're going to do on offense. Move it to that spot. Man, you see, I'm kicking his right sure away. I think I play it like all the way out and almost miss fumble in it. Wow, what a game. <laughs> like, you only miss. Damn, that's a good win. Oh shit. Wow. What was your record? Oh wow. <laughs> wow. I'm 3 and 0. <laughs> that's a, that was a big game. Holy shit. Yeah.